Uh, hey guys, this is Juna. Uh, so today, Persona 4 Ultimax Suplex Hold is released in America. So I decided to make a very quick Minazuki show tutorial video. Uh, Minazuki is a new character. He's very good, uh, very offensive, very mobile, very fun to play. Uh, so I have a timer set for 7 minutes. Hopefully I can show you enough with the character to get you started in that time. Alright, so the timer starts right now. Very good. Uh, so Minazuki is really good. Uh, his normals are amazing. He's got gorilla normals. You can just kind of press them. For example, his 5A. Look at the range on this thing. Yes. So dash, 5A. On hit or block, it goes into his block string or his combo. Don't think, just 5A. 5B is almost the same, except this one moves him forward very far. Uh, again, it leads into block string or combo. He can jump to make it safe. Just It's another great move. Just press it. I can't stress it enough. 2A. This is a low. Nothing too fancy here. Good range, good speed. Just open people up who are standing or trying to jump out. Good good starter. Uh, 2B. Make them jump really quick. Aha. Okay. So 2B is anti-air. It's two hits, but usually you just want to kind of use the first hit going to uh, 5C. The reason why you do 5C is because if the 2B hits behind, the 5C will auto-correct and you get a combo anyway. Very easy, very basic. Uh, jump A, that's a bad move. Don't worry about jump A. Don't worry about jump A. Jump B, on the other hand, is amazing. My favorite move, just press it. Super jump, press it. Normal jump. Jump forward, jump back, air dash. Just always press jump B. On counter hit, see how long they have. She can't even tap from this height. So you have plenty of time to land, confirm, and go into whatever combo you want to do. Something like that. Boom. There you go. His other jump form was what? Ah, jump C. Don't worry about that move. Jump D. Don't worry about that move either. Although, jump 2D. Aha. Pretty cool, huh? So jump 2D goes full screen. It's a good way to like surprise your opponent. And you can cancel into teleport. And if they were jumping when it hits, you can land a combo and make her back standing. Uh, his ground persona normals are kind of the same, right? 5C and 5D. You don't really need to press them too much. Although 5C is good. There you go. So whenever you bait a, uh, a DP or a super or something like that, that you go to punish. 5C into AOA, right? 5C AOA. Remember that. Learn that. It's very important to get the most for your punishes. Uh, and then 2D is the same as his jump 2D, right? So it's a good way to surprise people on the ground. Don't do it too much because your persona is probably going to get broken. Uh, next, onto his specials. He's got daggers. A dagger, B dagger, EX dagger. Uh, again, nothing too fancy, just a projectile. The A1 can be used as a shield that you can run in behind. The B1 is good for hitting personas or poking. And then EX is just, yeah, just do it to win the round, right? If you need to just chip them out, do one more hit, throw them out, throw some teleports. Why not? Next is Rekka's. Rekka's pretty much mainly a combo tool. Never, not never, but don't do it in neutral. And as a block string, you can use it. The second hit is jump cancelable. The third hit if you make EX is a pretty decent overhead, but don't don't do it too much. Don't rely on the Rekkas. This is what you should rely on. Yes, become a net play monster. Abuse his teleports. Uh, the C teleport goes in front. The D teleport goes behind. Both of them lead into a combo. You just need to dash with a 5A. Uh, this, this move, no matter where you are on screen, it will teleport to your opponent. It's really, really good. Uh, it's unsafe. You can be punished for it before it hits, but ah, test your opponent. If they're not punishing it, keep doing it, especially on net play. Yeah. Uh, he also has a command grab. This is great. The C version drains meter. The D version drains life. The EX version will drain both. Uh, it's very good because his block strings are pretty, pretty, I don't know, airtight. Uh, your opponent, once you get them to respect your block strings, run in there, grab a throw. If you need to kill, you can one more burst, do something like do that. Or if you just want to be lazy, you can just cancel straight into a super like that. 
speaking of supers, next. So his wave super. The C1 is for combos. The D1 is very fun. It goes full screen. Okay, it goes full screen. It blows up personas. It's a great way to punish if your opponent is being obvious or uh, if you're fighting a character with long range moves like Mitsuru's whip or, I don't know, Yukari's arrow. Go ahead. Blow him up with that. Next, his counter. Mm, this move is not too great, I would say. Uh, the only notice, er, notable thing is that it does work on personas, like so. No matter where your opponent is, if it activates, your opponent is hit, and then you get this edgy darkness screen. It's very cool. It doesn't work on projectiles, though, so be careful. And then his last super. Oh, the Hail Mary. The guy, man. Oh, man. Why is this so much damage? Yeah, so this is a reversal super. It's two hits. Uh, very, very easy to punish. I can't... I uh, just... If, if you're trying to make a, a scummy comeback or you just want to bet it all, go ahead. Wake up, guy man. You might as well do the EX version. It's 4200 damage flat. And on counter hit, you get a combo. Don't do it too much. Don't be too obvious with it. Anyway, alright, so we got one minute left. Uh, his basic, basic BNB. Pretty much everything goes into this, right? 2A, starter, 5B, 2B, anything. Just go into Magic Series, 5C, Rekka. If you have meter, when you do the second hit of the Rekka, cancel into DP Super, and then you can just, you can just keep going, huh? Yeah. His damage goes up. Like, look at that. It was almost 6K. With no meter, he doesn't really do too much, but once you start using meter and super, his damage gets pretty crazy. What else is there? Ah, th this is his overhead. It actually is a cross-up if you do it close enough. There you go. So it's kind of tricky. Uh, in the beginning, you can land a couple sneak hits with that, but don't rely on it too much. And then one more thing. Do I have time? There you go. And then just notice... His normals are already good, but they're also jump cancelable, which makes him very, very, very safe. Okay, so anyway, that's it. Time is up. Of course, I couldn't cover anything or everything, but hopefully that was enough to get you started on net play. So I'll make another video with some more advanced stuff, some fancier combos. Uh, but until then, if you have any questions, just hit me up on Twitter uh, or just watch me on stream. The links are down there. So, good luck, enjoy Persona, see you.